So we're starting from the beginning? Start from the beginning. You, 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 yep, that's enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should get to bed. <laughs> well, it's last day and all that. <laughs> this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. I'm here at Unite 2018. And I have some special guests here, and they're teamed up on a project that we want to discuss. So I'm going to take the camera now, and we're going to pass it around and see who we have. So who do we have here? Well, my name is Klaus Kroll. I'm a graphic designer and font designer. I'm here uh, representing 2K, but also HarperCollins Christian. Uh, we have this great project that we're doing together. HarperCollins. So who do we have from HarperCollins? I'm Doug Lockhart. I lead uh, marketing for both Thomas Nelson Bibles and Zondervan Bibles as senior yes. vice president. So Thomas Nelson and Zondervan, who do we have here? I'm Nikki Gutman, and I'm Senior Marketing Director for Thomas Nelson Bibles. Excellent. Now, who do we have here? Hi there, I'm Daniel Mars. I'm the publisher for Thomas Nelson Bibles and Study Resources. Excellent. So now we have Zondervan, Thomas Nelson, and 2K Denmark. Now, you've, you've teamed up on a project. Can you tell us about that? It's, it's really a, 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 more than a project. It's a strategy uh, going forward. And, and Excellent. It, the, the strategy is founded on the first principle that um, God's Word is beautiful, and God's Word deserves to be visually beautiful yes. as well. I like, I like that. Um, that was number one. Number two was uh, each translation that we represent, each version of the Bi English Bible that we represent has a unique heritage, has a unique personality, yeah. um, has a unique audience. Excellent. And rather than try to, to uh, leverage one typeface for all of our translations, we believed optimally that, that the, the value was to uh, develop a unique typeface and a unique font for each translation that respects Perfect. that translation's heritage, that translation's audience, um, and that translation's personality. And therefore, yeah. our partnership began with 2K Denmark. Excellent. So 2K Denmark designed the typefaces. Well, um, that's not where we begin. We, actually, we tap into the actual uh, uh, yeah. history of the typeface, or um, uh, in this case, we started off uh, with, with ideas for mm -hmm. King James and New King James okay. version. Um, and um, going back in history, we found some historical books uh, yeah. in Scotland uh, where Thomas Nelson started uh, that gave us the inspiration, um, not only for the typeface, but also for the narrative. Okay. Um, it's important that you have a story to what you do. And these typefaces has a unique story that's intimately yeah. linked to yeah. the translation's identities. Excellent. Uh, I think that's that's our biggest inspiration to uh, create typefaces that includes both um, 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 the beauty, yeah, the functionality, <laughs> but also carrying the history. Excellent. And the, those three things make it carry the message of the text. Excellent. So, where did this idea come from? It really started with this uh, desire to, as Doug said, to honor the yeah. beauty of God's Word. We believe it's true, we believe it's beautiful, Yes. and uh, and that desire was to say, no matter what price point we're at, if we're doing a, a $2 outreach paperback Bible yeah. or a $300 goat skin premium Bible, yeah. it should be beautifully presented. Yes. And how do we do that? It starts with it starts with the typeface. And of course, yeah. Bibles are they're more than your typical trade book. Trade books right. might be forty to 80,000 words. You've got 800,000 words, give or wow. take. In a text Bible, yeah. So how do you package all of that yeah. in a format that's carryable, yeah. but also something that's beautiful to read as well? And, and that's a real key. challenge. That that really is a challenge. It really is a key. Today's Bibles are more readable than yesterday's Bibles. They are. I, I've noticed that. It used to be that Bibles were cluttered, and and that that's what they were about. They were about the clutter. Stick as much as you can in there. Yeah. And who cares if you can read it or not? Yeah, you want to make a choice between efficiency or yeah. beauty. Yeah. But we found a way to not make that choice. It's really due to excellent. the research and work that Klaus's team is able to do. Oh, that's excellent. Excellent. So what can you add to that? Well, we, we came to Klaus with, with a, a couple of projects that we had unique challenges or problems with. One was a, a, a very robust study Bible that, that, that was um, typeface or, or, uh, typeset in a, in a traditional way, and it was a very large, very yeah. thick Bible that, w that affected people's desire to carry it with them. Excellent. And, and so we took that challenge to Klaus and, and said, Klaus, what, what can you do, you know, mm. with, with, with optimizing the, the, the text? Yeah. And the result was, was a, a savings of between 300 and 400 pages. Nice. 
on every buy yes. that uh, reduce the thickness by a half inch, reduce yeah. the, 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 the paper uh, volume, uh, and, and made it more readable at yeah. the same time. Oh, that's amazing. One of the things that Klaus did say, though, is, you know, as, as we were educated in the process, um, he gave us three reasons to do a typesetting. I'd love for him to, to address that. Oh, yes. Uh, that basically, you might say, <clears throat> you do Bibles well. <clears throat> they're done for hundreds of years, and uh, and, and why mm. design a Bible? Is yeah. it already done? But it isn't. Yeah. Uh, because you have three things to take care of when you do a Bible design. You have to make it readable. Yeah. Unreadable Bibles is of yeah. no use. That's, salt That's true. Without it, it's crowded. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> so so and and uh, so make our Bibles readable, but also control the page count. Yeah. Why people like thinner, more readable. Yeah. Bibles better than yeah. the opposite. Yeah. But the main reason is to, to make a design that capable of carrying the message of the text. That's great. You have to have this gentle authority yeah. to a Bible. Um, after all, this is the most important book you read. Yeah. So this design gives you the ability to have a smaller Bible without compromising readability. Not only not compromising, but actually improving. Improving. Readability. Okay. So so few. I mean, think about it. Fewer pages. Yeah. Same number of words, yeah. uh, more readable. That's amazing. And there, and there are unique um, ways that, 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 that that's accomplished. That's amazing. As we as we developed further um, into this process, it really became a a, a global initiative, and yeah. we named it Comfort Print. Yes. We we named also all of these Bibles, regardless of the translation for uh, King James Version, New King James Version. NIV and others as they as we finish those those, those typefaces all fall under the the, the, the brand of comfort print Perfect. and uh, Nikki has been largely responsible for uh, the the development of yeah. the, the the branding strategy okay. for the comfort print. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So, like Klaus and Doug and Daniel have talked about, the point of going through this initiative is to make more readable fonts that people can easily read through and scan through and using the art and science from Klaus's company yeah. um, are even easier to pick up cognitively. So he's, he's really designed that in. Yeah. And that is so important because if there's any book that you want in your mind and in your heart, yeah. it is... Yeah. It is the Bible, right. and to be able to add um, that value into, into our Bibles and the legacy that that means for this generation as we steward, have the opportunity yeah. and the privilege to steward the Word of God today, um, that is so important. That, that's yeah. the legacy, and that's why we do it, and I think that that's mm -hmm. why people want to engage with the Bible as well, and so everything we can do to communicate that message as yeah. well. Excellent. When you mentioned legacy, it makes me think of when we first saw the, uh, the King James font, not only the letter forms, but actually yeah. a page laid out. Yeah. Um, it just immediately felt like a King James Bible. It yeah. felt like the quintessential King James yeah. Bible. And the yeah. same thing with the, the New King James. It takes that same character. It's actually mm. built on those letter forms, but then updated and modernized in key ways. Yeah. And it just it picks up on that heritage so well. Yeah. Um, so it, it's one of those things where it's familiar, but also brand new. It's yeah. Amazing. I agree. I saw the King James first, yeah. and I immediately recognized that it does have that old world appeal because, you know, Klaus, when he went to looking at fonts, he did look at some of the older Thomas Nelson typefaces, right. and it's kind of based on some of that, and it looks really good. And then, of course, I saw the New King James and the NIV, and they look, they look really nice. Now, speaking of the comfort print, I heard something about a goatskin edition coming out. Well, we said, uh, we, we, Daniel said early on, that uh, we believe that, that comfort print uh, fonts and typefaces are deserved by every reader. Yes. Re whether they are a first-time Bible reader that receives a, a $5 outreach Bible to someone who, who is a long-time reader and lover of the Bible, who would be willing to pay $150 yeah. for, you know, for yeah. a Bible? We, we believe that every reader deserves that same yeah. Friendly reading experience. We, we, we say it's it's uh, comfort print Bibles are easier to read at every size. Yeah, 
It's um, excellent. And, and so, so that that same principle applied to to uh, a new strategy that that uh, we'll be launching this fall, and it is a premium line of starting with text Bibles that okay. for for all three translations. Um, King James, New King James, and NIV called the Premier Collection. Excellent. And uh, and they're beautiful Bible. Yeah. Um, we we can show you some some early uh, prototypes of, okay. uh, of what that what they will look like. Yeah. But uh, but we believe every aspect of, of the Bible, including the typeface, have been considered nice. and have been. Um, um, evaluated to to maximize the, the beauty and Daniel That's was beautiful. very very uh, yeah. instrumental in, in that strategy. So, Excellent. Uh, I love for Daniel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I've, I've loved beautiful books for a long time. Yeah. I was an English major and then yeah. got into theology, and I'm always spending time with old books. And you can tell a book that's quality. Um, right. And I've learned a lot working with Klaus and working yeah. with Bibles over the last few years. So uh, okay. these Bibles are beautiful. They're, they're goat skin, nice. they're covers, nice. leather, leather lining, nice. edge line binding. Excellent. Uh, they've got the art gilding, they've got the triple beautiful. ribbons, all the bells and whistles. Beautiful. Um, and just beautifully constructed with, with all the sort of craftsmanship that you'd expect in yeah. a high-end Bible. Um, Excellent. Just nothing, nothing left out, really. Now, you mentioned a text edition. Get your picture on that. You mentioned a text edition. That's unusual for premium editions in, to be well, a text only. When we say text, it, 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 um, it's anything from a, a thin line carry to church Bible to um, a, a minister's Bible to, yeah. you know, to a, a, a Bible that a, a pastor would preach from in the pulpit. <laughs> okay. And, and so, so um, typically, or oftentimes, a, a robust study Bible will not be, be a, a carry to church Bible. Yeah. It will be more of a portable, yeah. manageable um, size that, that is easy to carry to church and, or, or to carry with them. Excellent. And so that's really where the excitement is, yeah. has, has come from on uh, yeah. these heritage editions. So yeah. this right here is an example nice. of, of, of the prototype. And so you can see all of the things that, that, that Daniel was explaining, and it shows the, oh, yeah. you know, the triple ribbon. Yeah. Um, it shows the, 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 uh, the, the gilding. The, the quality of the material, the, the, the uh, ability for it to um, yeah. to be flexible, and the, the list goes on and on. Nice. What you don't see here is is the packaging. There's even okay. a, 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 um, um, there, the, there's even oh, the, the ability to. It's a beautiful Bible, yeah. um, but again, this is a prototype, gotcha. and, and so it's an early edition. Um, but, but even the packaging is unique. It's, it's unique on the outside of the packaging. Mm -hmm. But when someone opens the packaging, there's an unboxing experience as well. The Excellent. Bible is included uh, fully wrapped in, in, in heavy paper okay. with a stamp that says Premier okay. Collection on the, the, the packaging. It is nice. a full experience nice. of, a, of a Premier Edition. Nice. In addition to that, um, there is also a premium um, merchandising Ooh. solution that, that Nikki was responsible for developing yes. that goes into the store. So, yes. so if you think about it, a, yeah. you know, a Bible like this can, can, can be, be set in here uh, with another edition that's opened up oh, um, in the store so that someone can see yeah. the beauty of, um, of God's Word in this premium yeah. collection Bible. Yeah, I like that. So when you see this in the store, you're going to see open and then you'll see another one oh, I like that you can touch them That's Again, what we have what we have heard from our sales team and from those who have experienced it is, is just exactly yeah. that as you have to experience it. yeah you have to you have to experience you have to see it open you have yeah. to pick it up and feel it There's, yeah it, it just it's a it's a beautiful yeah. Bible so goat skin leather mm -hmm. what can you tell us about manufacturing about paper about ribbons are they Beresford's ribbons Pardon? Are they Beresford's ribbons? Can you tell oh, us? Oh, the, uh, the goat skin? I'm not sure exactly on that. Okay. So, yeah, I can't say for sure. Okay. Um, we did ensure that it's full grain goat uh -huh. skin leather. Gotcha. Not, not just top grain or split. Or anything yeah. Like that. Okay. Uh, manufacturing worked with, with the printers who had the best technology to okay. ensure the best quality. Okay. And um, those who are investing the most in ensuring that we can achieve yeah. the kind of construction and durability that we want. Excellent. Um, Excellent. Using European paper, 
Okay. Uh, fine, finely milled European paper, so it's okay. extra smooth. Nice. Uh, and it's a little more opaque as well than the usual. Excellent. What, what's the size of the paper? Is it going to be like a 28 GSM? 30, 36. Wow. 36 GSM. Wow. Now this one's a prototype, so it's blank. So it hasn't... I want one of these. I want one of these. <laughs> 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 well, I wasn't going that far. <laughs> I was going to use it as a notebook, but I, I can see that being done. Unfortunately, I can see that being done. But yeah, that that looks really good. I, I like that. So, is this one thirty-six GSM paper? Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be this paper exactly. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. That's nice. I like the the line there. So you're going to have text editions, which I love text editions, and it's hard to find a. Um, a premium quality text edition. They don't make them. Yeah. For some reason, companies think that you have to have reference editions in premium and nothing else. Or they might give you a study Bible, you know. But anyway, I, I like a text edition. That, that's really nice. One of, one of the things, Randy, that we work really, really hard at is the price point. Okay. Um, our desire was to, to uh, make it as affordable as possible mm -hmm. and, 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 and yet um, include the, the, the premium characteristics or, yeah. or features. And yeah. so uh, we set a target for ourselves to be at $150 re retail. Nice. And, and, and if you went out and looked at the you know the other premium editions that are out there, they're significantly yeah. higher. And, and it's fine. That's fine. Yeah. But our desire was to provide a premium edition yeah. Bible that was beautiful, that uh, was truly premium in every way, and, and, and even value added mm -hmm. compared to anything else that's out there. And but, but be at one hundred fifty dollars, nice. forty nine ninety nine. So nice. we're very, very excited about this this launch yeah. for not only for ourselves but for the retailers and for the, nice. the people who will experience yeah. God's word yeah. in a very beautiful, nice. beautiful way. So this will you'll have these available in text editions, mm -hmm. reference editions, mm -hmm. study Bibles. So possibly, possibly yeah. that that's still yeah, in the works. The premier collection is a is a quality tier that any mm -hmm. Bible could appear. In. Okay, so, so we're, it's possible. We're starting out with text and reference gotcha. editions, and we may do you know a special premier collection of um, of a study Bible down the road. So, okay, yeah. uh, and when can we expect these? The fall of uh, 2018. So this fall, it's coming soon. Coming soon. Is there anything you would like else you would like to add or tell our readers? Let's start with class. Well, I think it's important. One thing is to uh, keep the interest in the Bible alive. Um, I think you do that with um, trying with creative minds to find new additions to cover special uh, needs. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a lot there that has yeah. been discovered. Um, uh, and I don't mean sort of this, the next golfer's Bible or, yeah. or whatever speciality. Um, I think it's important to look at where do you use your Bible and how could special Bibles be sort of applicable. Yeah. Um, um, and um, that's, a, that's a journey we've just begun. Um, um, I love this. I love this luxury. I, I love this luxury edition. Uh -huh. We all do. It's so nice. Yeah. Look at the blue onto the silver and stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, it's extremely it nice. It is pretty. But, but I'm sure that there's a lot of other, other opportunities to make make special editions of the Bible that might only be text Bibles and uh -huh. uh, might even be reduced uh, so not having cross references of uh, translation mm -hmm. notes and so on if you of course when you, if you want to gain something new uh, you often lose something old but keeping as much as the old traditional qualities yeah but looking at the special ways to use a Bible yeah right? I think that's that's something we're going to see in the coming years. Excellent, excellent. How about you? Uh, I just uh, I would like to say what a joy and honor it is to work with Bibles. I've yeah. spent years and years studying Scripture and then teaching Scripture at a university level and just connecting people with God's Word, with the message of God's Word, excellent. and uh, and the chance to actually work directly with putting together these books in a beautiful way that actually yeah. connects people with the meaning. I feel like that's one of the things that enables people to enter into an experience with this text where they meet the author of scripture. Yeah. Uh, and, and for me, that's just the greatest joy in the world. Excellent. You next. Well, I think, you know, like Daniel said, said, the privilege is that we get to work with the Word of God and, 
and as each of us get to bring the skill sets that the Lord has given us over the paths of our lives and to now be able to apply that yeah. to the most important work that has ever been done through the inspiration of God um, over all this time and we get to be part of that story um, it's just I mean I get I have goosebumps yeah. now it's a thrill and, <laughs> and it's just a joy and, and what this means to people awesome I mean, there's nothing Excellent. better Let's give Mr. Lockhart the last yeah. word, and then finish by telling us where they can learn more. Yeah, well, well first of all, our, at the end of the day, our desire is that people would read God's Word and yeah. their lives be changed by it. That's right. why we do everything that we do. Right. Um, and, but in that context, a, a portion of that is, how do we make the Bible friendly to read? Yeah. How do we make it a beautiful experience that will encourage people to read more often, yeah. longer in each setting, and able to... to uh, to, to hear God's yeah. heart um, as they read. That's why we do everything that we do. Second thing is uh, we've only begun. There's much more to be done. Wow. Uh, this is a journey that we're, we're really, really proud of where we are, yeah. but the journey's not over. Uh, there's much more to be done to uh, to honor um, God through through His Word, and, and we're committed to, to, to staying on that journey and doing more. So stay tuned. Stay um, all right. You will see uh, the, the Premier Edition Bibles as well as um, all of our Bibles are, are available at yeah. uh, every Christian retailer. Yeah. Um, they're, they're available in, in the e-commerce space. They'll be widely available okay. where, wherever someone desires to yeah. shop. Uh, but the, the place where people will best be able to open and experience the Bible will be in a physical retail store, okay. which, which they will fully see and feel the value proposition yeah. that, uh, that, that the Premier Collection offers in Comfort Print. Yeah, excellent, right. excellent. I appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Right.